So it's very interesting to see the silence right now in the UK media following everything that Dan Wooten allegedly did. After all that was revealed, the UK media, not even one a news channel in the UK has reported about that. All of them are suddenly so silent when it comes to that story. And we just wonder why they're protecting their own very much. I mean, if it was someone else, I think that it would be all over. That story would be all over. Everyone would be talking about it. They'll be having discussions about it. But right now that it is Dan Wooten, everyone is so silent. They're not even trying to defend him as a decent human being because I think they know very much, they know themselves very much and they know that saying that will be a very huge lie. You see, Dan Wooten is just a very evil man and his actions of spreading hatred against other people are just very, very evil. And right now, when he has done something awful, no one is talking about it. I mean, Dan Newton, actually, together with the royal family, orchestrated one of the most dangerous character assassination of Harry and Meghan. They have continually told lies about Harry and Meghan for years. And right now, no one is talking about what Dan Newton has done. Yet, Harry and Meghan continue to suffer uh, for all the lies that have been told about them. And instead of talking about Dan Wooten and what he's done, you know what the media is doing right now? They're talking about things which are totally unrelated. And I want you to take a look at this headline on The Guardian and just tell me if the person who actually wrote this has some morals or some moral compass because how can someone actually be paid to write such kind of an article? Just take a look at this headline saying that should it really be a crime to look at child pornography? Imagine, that is the headline of an article. So, do they want us now to debate on whether it is a crime to look at child pornography? Of course, this is something that is very disgusting and something that should never be allowed in the society. But right now, they want people to debate on whether it's a crime or not to look at child pornography. I mean, where are the morals in this UK media? This is truly revolting. How the British press is able to print stuff like this without any protest from the editors is Fleet Street truly rotten to its core that there is not a different person left? The British people, I think, have got to demand better because this is not something that you'd want your child to read. This is not something that that people should actually be debating on. And you know, if they want people to now debate on such things, considering if child pornography is a crime or not, then that means that in very few years to come, they're going to normalize actions such as that of Philip Schofield or even Dan Wooten or even what you Edwards did. That means that they're going that road because there's no way that they're now talking about child pornography being a crime or not. Of course, it is a crime. No one should be having debates about that. That aside, on Jeremy Vine Shaw, the obvious man that keeps spreading lies about Harry and Meghan, and the other day, he was actually threatening to sue people because they were telling lies about him. Right now, he's gone back to the obvious thing that he does, inviting people to uh, attack Harry and Meghan, say lies about Harry and Meghan, and just uh, today, they were talking about the writers who are on strike, and and it really shocked me how they managed to slide Harry and Meghan into that conversation. I mean, how is writers being on strike related to Harry and Meghan? They still find a way of mentioning Harry and Meghan in each and every uh, of their conversations because they can't keep their mouths closed about Harry and Meghan. And at all, it's, it, if you're an actor now, you must the phone must be ringing off the hook. 
but there's prob it's probably diluted it, hasn't it? Because there's so, there'll be so many more people that are willing to work for less than what yeah. people work for. You find it in all industries, but people are working for less than, you know, when you go in with your fee, people will choose the people that will work for... Yeah, mm. maybe all the Netflix money went to uh, Meghan and Harry. There's <laughs> nothing left for anybody else. For you. What you it's truly disgusting. The same person who was crying that he was going to sue people be, uh, of defamation, of spreading lies about him, is right now participating so much in the spreading of lies about against Harry and Meghan and mentioning them on a daily basis on his uh, show. And there are just so much terrible things that are happening in the UK media and I'm sure that no one is willing to talk about it and if someone talks about it, they are going to threaten them. Apparently, someone called Andrew Brady had actually exposed Dan Wooten's actions some time back and then he was sent to prison for just exposing Dan Wooten. Imagine. That just tells you how much the UK media is willing to protect itself and those who work for it. Because how is someone telling the truth leading to them actually being imprisoned? It doesn't make sense at all. And I actually think that Dan Wooten knew whatever was coming to him he already sensed it or was told whatever was going to happen because just six days ago he posted this picture the same thing that philip scofield actually did so dan newton posted this picture with i don't know his niece saying that over 30 hours traveling worth it for this moment alone with my niece and then you remember philip scofield after being accused of grooming a child pretended to be consoling his mother as he told her the news and even the, the headlines read that Phil's heartbreak saying that tender moment devastated Philip Schofield comforts his mom as he gives her the news of this morning's sucking. And I, I can see that the media really tries to play a game and make these people be sympathized because if they print such a uh, and headline seeing how Philip Schofield was so heartbroken, giving his mother the news. And then Dan Wooten on this side is using a kid to gain some sympathy because kids are innocent. And when you look at this picture of Dan Wooten with his niece, of course, someone who doesn't know Dan Wooten and all the evil things that he's done will just be like, oh, they look so cute. And then they'll all of a sudden forget everything that Dan Wooten has said and all the terrible things he's said about people and the actions that he's caused people and their lives. You see, they just try to gain sympathy by doing all these actions that, that attract a lot of sympathy. And it's really disgusting. So they can continue protecting themselves and whoever they work for, but they should know that sooner or later, Karma is going to visit each and everyone because they have continually abused Harry and Meghan. They have continually told, told lies about Harry and Meghan on a daily basis. Yet when uh, things start to go uh, sideways for them or things start to go south for them, they are now whining and, and wanting some sympathy. Did they ever stop and thought how Harry and Meghan feel for people, uh, for them telling lies about them each and every day? Do they ever stop to think that way? Maybe not because they depend on lying about Harry and Meghan to pay their bills, right? Well, it's truly disgusting and I hope that they are not going to be sympathized. I just hope that each and everyone who's found guilty of these disgusting actions is going to face the full consequences of their actions because they don't deserve any sympathy. Otherwise, it will be like telling people it is okay if you do such kind of things and you'll just go free. And I don't know if you've ever seen this, but this is a picture of Dan Wooten with Kate Middleton's brother. And before this, Dan Wooten was not actually a royal reporter, but everything changed after he wrote the story of Kate and Rose Hanbury falling out, and then he started to get scoops on Harry and Meghan. So his luck, in, in quotes, 
ended after Harry and Meghan moved out of the UK and now he just whines about them. And I guess that after that story he wrote about Rose Hanbury and Kate falling out, he knew very well what was actually going on. But after he wrote that, to- uh, that story, I guess that he got a deal from Prince William telling him that he was going to sell Harry and Meghan's stories to him so, so that he cannot talk anymore about Kate nor Rose Hanbury nor Prince William because Prince William didn't want such stuff to be printed. So Prince William sold his own brother to Dan Wooten and the rest of the British media. May it be remembered always. I can only hope that Dan Wooten is going to pay for all his actions. He has done terrible things to a lot of people and I just hope that he actually pays for his actions. Even though at times I think that because he has a lot of connections, he has people in high places that are going to protect him. But sooner or later, the truth is always going to show out and these people are actually going to fall just like they have tried to destroy people. So no matter how much they try to destroy Harry and Meghan, no matter how much they try to pull Harry and Meghan down, each and everyone just falls like flies around them. So instead of talking about Harry and Meghan and trying to bring Harry and Meghan down, they should instead talk about their own and all the terrible things that they are doing. So I don't know about you all. I don't know about what you think concerning all this and what the media is trying to do, just let me know what your thoughts are and I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Have a great and fantastic day. Goodbye.